it's just it's it's deceptive. When you when you edit someone and take their words out of context and change them around, you're being deceptive. And the New York Times did that again this week. They had some philosophy professor from Hong Kong University write a piece on me, and he, he took they quoted me. Eh? It was a sentence. There's like the first phrase was in quotes, and then there was some joining words, and then the second phrase was in quotes, and there was some joining words, and then the third phrase was in quotes, and the three quotes added up to a statement that bore no resemblance whatsoever to what I was saying. How can they do that in the New York Times? Was, well, that seems to me to be something that should be the the I don't think they can. What they stand I don't for. think they can, Joe. I think they're killing their brand so fast that they that they can't. But it's so disturbing yeah. to me as a person who's been a fan of the New York Times I know, forever. I, know, I, know. I just don't understand how they could allow that to happen. How could you allow your what what is the gold standard for journalism? How could you allow it to become something that willfully misrepresents someone to but push an ideology?